Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny Delilo. We're here at the South Park Center and I'm delighted to be doing with Jane with her movie, The Hideaway. Let's take a look at the clip. Jane, I'm so happy we get to do this in person and I just want to say thank you for making your film. I, I honestly love the world that you took us into um, in The Hideaway. Um, for those that haven't seen your film, tell us a brief synopsis. The Hideaway is about a young 14-year-old girl who's sort of like at the beginning of puberty trying to figure out where she fits in and she hears a rumor that her mother is a stripper and she goes to find out. I mean it's it's a it's a brilliant story from from her perspective and you know you already know from you know a teenage you know teenage girl particularly going through so much at that age and so many changes in your life etc. Um, I love she was such a brilliant actor as was her mom as was your whole ensemble cast. Um, but before we get into that, where did the inspiration come for you in deciding to create this particular story? I just graduated from the American Film Institute, and so one of their, this was my thesis film, and it came to me through a really good friend of mine. He was talking about sort of his life and this story. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, this is really, this is really interesting, this sort of idea of parenthood and growing up, and, and it could be even more interesting as a girl and a mom and looking at sexuality and those are the themes that I'm, I'm really interested in growing up and sort of what does it mean and the ritual of growing up and the ritual of how do you become a woman, what does that mean, what does being an adult mean and so it seemed really ripe for that exploration. Well I think one of the things that I, you know, I, I, I loved in, in just the, 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 the tone of the film, the, the way it was shot, the colors, everything. Like it was, you know, it was kind of a captivating world that you kind of took us into, but it felt so real, you know, and, and you didn't shy away from anything. And I, I, I thought that was really fantastic. Um, now, I, I can't help but talk about your, the mother and daughter of how wonderful this, this relationship, you know, for the dialogue, but also just for the way they were reacting to the certain circumstances. Um, tell us a little bit about how you brought your cast together. I knew Scotty Thompson, who plays the mom, was... Sh I had sent her the script, and she used to be a ballet dancer, and I sort of thought she'd be perfect, and she was... We were trying to work with her schedule, and then I used to be an actor, so, ac so acting's really important to me. I think, you know, actors make the movie, and I think... Mm -hmm young directors sometimes don't realize that. They think all the other things make the movie, and mm -hmm. they do. But if you don't have characters and a cast that you believe in and want to go on the story with, you don't really have a movie. So it was really important to me that we eventually found Evie White. My casting director was brilliant, Suzanne. She would not give up. I mean, it took a couple of months, and right before shooting, I thought, oh, we're not. We haven't found her like this girl that can sort of balance and be very still. Um, and then I got Evie's audition tape at like 8.30 at night. It's one of those things as a director oh. that I'm always going to remember. Mm -hmm. It's like here I, you know, the end of the day, like, uh, and here pops up this girl. Oh. And she was perfect. And then you look at her and Scotty together, and th they look like they're... Mother and daughter. Oh, 100%. I mean, they, they, their the relationship in, that, in the movie itself is so much depth to it. Um, I always think that someone that's had the experience of being, an, uh, you know, an actor and is an actor and then directing is, is always, you always can tell because there's such a strength in, in usually in the acting when you've had that perspective and that experience. And I'm so curious, like, because you come from that background and now directing, like, how do you work with your actors? Like, what's your kind of process? I, I mean, I really believe that the actor knows what they're doing. I really trust, I mean, casting to me, it's like I cast the person that I want to play mm -hmm. the part, not the person that 
you know, I think could play it or maybe I can manipulate them to play it. I also really believe in creating a safe space mm -hmm. for the actors to be able to do what they want to do and yeah. then pull back if they need to or redirect if I need to. But it's funny because as an actor, I really, you know, you crave or I craved, you know, s the director being like, that mm -hmm. was great. Mm -hmm. And then I found as a director, like, I don't necessarily want to talk to my actors every time because I want to see what they're going to do. Yeah. And so allowing that space and that building of trust yeah to say hey you're safe here let's see let's see how you want to play it i love that i don't think we can really underestimate that sometimes that word safe space gets thrown around a lot without really understanding the true meaning of what that is and like by you creating a safe space for the actors they get to feel safe and trust and play you know what i mean i think that's so important because yeah. It articulated the performance. Playing is really important. Yeah. Like whether it is serious playing or not, it's like you want to feel that you can mess up. Yeah. And be able to then find it. So. Yeah. And there's so many stories within your story that I that I love. You know, firstly, obviously, you know, you've got just a mom trying to feed her daughter and and, and keep themselves safe and 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 have a have a life together and and the struggles of just trying to find the finances to kind of do that. And then the 14 year old going through all those sorts of things and stupid other people that are 14 that make her feel uncomfortable, like all those different things, all those different stories in there. And then there's so much strength in there between them both. They both got like, you can tell them over in dorks, they've got such strength in different ways. But then there's also the perspective of that we don't often see of together on screen. You know, the fact that her mom obviously is a stripper um, as, we, as we discover and, and discovering what that is. Um, you know, you didn't shed, you know, you, you really shed light to the, hu the human behind that, which I w thought was, was very gratifying. Was that always your kind of intention to do that? And how did that story articulate? And also kind of what did you want your audience to take from it too? I'm glad that you realized it was very layered. That's really important to me as a filmmaker that, that my work, ha that you can watch it several times yeah. for different reasons. Um, I think it was really important. I feel like we demonize women and we demonize women's sexuality and we can demonize stripping and there's just sort of this idea that we don't really know what it is, so it's bad. And so it was important to me that we came at it and looked at it in a human way of like, here is a woman that is just trying to get by and is also really good at this. Like that's. That moment, I hope, comes through at the end, too, is, is you know, Nika's at first ashamed, shocked, and then just sort of like, wow, my mom is really, she's commanding up there. And so that was really important to me that we sort of looked at this different side and not just the preconceived, stripping's bad, don't do it. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And, and I think there is a world, and trying to juggle this world as a, as an artist was hard of like there there are women that choose to strip and there are also women that don't and so to be able to sort of look at the empowerment and also the the need to do something like this was yeah. important to me so to me art is so much about saying like i see you and i see your story and i hear you and i think that that's the place i create or create from as an artist because that's what art has art has saved me yeah. over and over and over again, especially film. Yeah. Art saves us. It's so true. It's so true. And what a great that's a great way to finish on. So everyone out there, go and get inspired after hearing from Jane. But listen, thank you so much for the hideaway. We can't wait to see uh, your next projects, but thank you for bringing your film to us. And thank welcome you. to the family. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, Jane, everybody. Thanks.